Terraform is the most popular infrastructure as code tool used by mostly everyone in the DevOps space, including GitHub, IBM, Slack, Pinterest, Atlassian, and so much more. So in this video, I'm going to teach you what is Terraform, why is it so popular, explaining its benefits and use cases, also how it works, and why you should learn it. Along with this, I'm also creating a playlist on Terraform where I'll be teaching you Terraform right from the basics to advance, explaining you everything about HCL syntax, what is providers in Terraform, resources, meta arguments, modules, state management, and so much more, along with projects, challenges, and exciting things. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click on the bell notification so you don't miss any videos and start learning Terraform with me. Let's start. Let's start with what is Terraform. Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code tool which is created by HashiCorp that lets you define and provision your infrastructure in the form of code on various cloud providers like AWS, Azure, GCP and also other platforms like VMware, OpenStack, Kubernetes and lot more. Terraform supports thousands of different providers. So in simple terms, Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool in DevOps to create resources on different cloud providers and also various different platforms. But what do you mean by infrastructure as code? So infrastructure as code is a way of managing and creating computer infrastructures like servers, databases, networks, storage, using code instead of manual process. So rather than you creating all this infrastructure in the console, you can define it in the form of code, which is faster and provides you with so many benefits. Like you can store this code on GitHub, on GitLab, which can be version control and you can also share it with other guys so they can collaborate with you. Using infrastructure as code, you can scale your applications very fast. You can recreate them if there's an issue. So your deployments become very, very fast. My experience with Terraform was when I was in my internship. We had a project which used to take eight hours for deployment. But using Terraform, we deployed the same application in just 30 minutes. So we saved around seven hours, 30 minutes in every deployment we used to do. This is why I love Terraform and I've been using it since a long time. And I want you to learn it as well because every company is using it. Now let's understand why you should learn Terraform and why is it so damn popular compared to other infrastructure as code tools. Despite so many different ISC tools in the market like AWS CloudFormation, Azure ARM Templates, Google Deployment Manager, Pulumi, uh, Ansible, Chef, Puppet and so much more, Terraform still is the most used infrastructure as code tool due to so many benefits but the main one is multi-cloud support. So using Terraform, you can create infrastructure in AWS, also Azure, GCP, Oracle, IBM, and everything in just one single script. So using Terraform, you can create multiple infrastructures in multiple different cloud. And that's not what you can do with uh, CloudFormation. You cannot create Azure templates or Azure resources using AWS CloudFormation. This is why Terraform is mostly used. Second benefit is declarative configuration language. So Terraform uses HCL or HashiCorp configuration language and through which you can create your resources in AWS, in Azure, or in the cloud, which is very, very easy. And I'll be teaching you HCL in upcoming videos, so make sure you watch it. Third benefit is Terraform has large and active community. So if you are stuck at any issues with Terraform, you, you are most likely to find solution on documentation itself, but you can also find forums and blogs and videos on Terraform. This means the community is big and the documentation is amazing. I'm going to teach you everything using the documentation because Terraform has the best documentation, I would say, uh, among most of the DevOps tools. Next, very important benefit is the state management. Terraform works using state. So everything you do on the console is all going to be recorded in the state and will be compared every time you run apply and destroy commands. So Terraform being so popular, it's used in everywhere. And this is why there are many companies who are looking for people who know Terraform. So let's understand how Terraform actually works and how it creates resources and different providers. The first stage is the configuration stage where you need to write down the infrastructure configuration in Terraform's own HCL language. So you want to have a database, server, storage, write it down in Terraform's HCL language and move to the second stage. The second stage is the planning stage. So now that you have your infrastructure configuration written down with everything you want in your cloud, you can then create a plan and check what is Terraform going to create, delete or update according to the configuration you have done. If that is fine and everything is as you want it to be, you can then move to the third stage, which is the execution stage. Here, you will apply the plan and Terraform will start creating, deleting or modifying the things in your account, in your provider, according to the configuration you have written in your Terraform scripts. At the same time, Terraform also manages the state where Terraform will keep track of all the changes happening in the cloud and make sure it matches the infrastructure configuration you have desired. 
once they apply is done, you will see your resources in the cloud. If you want to have any changes, you can then directly update your infrastructure configuration written in the code and then apply the command again and again and follow the same process. Lastly, if you don't want to use your infrastructure anymore, you can just run the destroy command and do the cleanup where Terraform will destroy everything you have defined in your infrastructure configuration. So this is the Terraform workflow. I hope you have understood how Terraform actually works. And this will make more sense when we do hands-on in the upcoming session. This is the only theory or filler video in the complete playlist but it's very important for you to understand the basics and the concepts before you do the hands-on. So in the upcoming sessions, I'll be teaching you Terraform right from the basics, from HCN syntax to resources, input variables, outputs, modules, meta arguments, provisionals, and a lot more. And why do you want to learn from me? Because I've been working on Terraform for a long time. I've taught Terraform to many guys, also helped them gain Terraform Associate certification, and I myself have Terraform certification, even because I charged people to teach Terraform and I'm doing this for free. So enjoy the free thing and I hope you will learn a lot. Let's understand why you should learn Terraform and why is it very popular or in demand tool right now in the market. So we have already discussed the advantages and benefits of using Terraform, but there are a few more points you need to know to understand how important it is for you to learn Terraform in this DevOps market. So right now there is an increase in cloud adoption and every company is shifting their applications from on-premises to cloud and they are using Terraform to do that. So they create their infrastructure in the form of code and store it on GitHub and GitLab. So you should learn Terraform. Terraform can also be integrated with CI CD tools and also other DevOps tools. So learning Terraform is no brainer. If you're a person who knows Terraform or if you're a Terraform certified, you're going to get more value. Uh, you will get job or if you already have a job, you will get promotions as well. So if you want to know how I got my Terraform certification, check out this video where I've explained how I got my certification, what resources I used, and how you can get your own. Also, please check out the videos I'll be uploading in this Terraform playlist, which will help you learn Terraform from basics to advanced. Hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe, like this video, and drop a purple heart in the comment to let me know that you're excited to learn Terraform with me. Thank you and have a good day.